We will now review surgical procedure section. Anyone working in a sterile environment must wear the appropriate sterile gown and gloves. Gowns and gloves are put on after the surgical scrub. The surgical scrub consists of two minutes of hand washing technique employed by surgeons and anyone else in the surgical team. Gowning and gloving can be done in two ways, self-gowning or gloving, or gowning and gloving another person. After the gown is on, only the sleeves and the front of the gown down to the waist are considered sterile. To maintain sterile technique, once in sterile gown and gloves, persons must pass each other back to back. The sterile scrub consists of scrubbing with an antimicrobial agent for two to three minutes. The surgical scrub removes debris and transient microorganisms from the hands, nails, and forearms to reduce the resident microbial count to a minimum and to inhibit a rapid rebound growth of microorganisms. Wash and scrub hands, nails, and immerse in a mild germicidal solution. A typical surgical scrub could be performed with 2% chlorohexidine gluconate or 7.5% Providone iodide. Gloving can be doned by two methods, self-gloving or gloving another person. The sterile surface is always required for sterile gloving. The process of self-gloving is A and B. Open the glove package by the flaps. C. Pick up the glove by its inside cuff with one hand. Do not touch the glove wrapper with a bare hand. D. Slide the glove onto the opposite hand and leave the cuff down. E. Using the partially gloved hand, slide the fingers into the outer side of the opposite glove cuff. F. Slide the hand into the glove and unroll the cuff. And G. With the gloved hand, slide the fingers under the outer edge of the opposite cuff and unroll it gently using the same technique. The procedure for removing sterile gloves focuses on avoiding contamination. One, grasp the edge of the glove. Two, unroll the glove over the hand. Three, roll the glove in the other hand. Four, with the bare hand, grasp the opposite glove cuff on its inside surface. Five, remove the glove by inverting it over the hand. And finally, six, pull off and discard the glove. When performing an invasive or a surgical procedure, the area must be microorganism free. Any item added to the field must be sterile, clean, and dry. Expired or open items are considered not sterile. A sterile field is therefore a microorganism-free area that can receive sterile supplies. Never lean over a sterile field. After the field is set, it is covered or draped until ready for use. 
When the field is ready for use, the first step is to confirm that the field is unaltered and the packages are still sterile. The sterile corridor is the area between the patient drape and the instrument table. The technologist should never cross into the sterile corridor. The sterile pack is a package containing instruments or material that has been sterilized. Drop the contents gently onto the sterile field from about six inches above the field and at a slight angle. This technique helps ensure that the package wrapping does not touch the sterile field at any time. When pouring sterile fluids into a sterile basin on a sterile field, hold the bottle with the label uppermost so that poured solution cannot stain and obscure the label. Always confirm the name of the solution with the surgical team members before pouring. The sterile basin into which sterile liquid will be poured is generally placed at the end of the sterile field to avoid splashing over the entire sterile field. With as little of the bottle as possible over the field, hold it at a height of approximately six inches over the sterile basin. Pour the solution gently so that no splashing occurs. Splashing of liquids can destroy a sterile field by allowing microorganisms to move from the unsterile tabletop through the wet drape that forms the bottom of the sterile field. Bottles containing sterile solutions are usually considered sterile on the inside, but contaminated on the outside. Once opened, use only once and then discard. When opening sterile packs, make sure that the package is clean and dry that it has not been opened, and that the expiration date has not passed. The process is A. Open the back flap first, B and C, then the side flaps, and D, then the front flap. Always check the sterile package monitoring device, which is usually inside the package. Commercial packages will have specific instructions for opening. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our all-access pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.